Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add gradients in Moho. So the first thing you want to do is add a, add a vector shape. So I'm just going to go to the Draw Shapes tool and I'm going to uh, create a rectangle. So this is our rectangle right here. Now from here, we need to do two things. First, we need to select our shape. And to do that, we're going to go to the uh, Select Shape tool right here. So I have the tool selected and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to select our shape. So now the, there's these checker mark, there's this checker mark pattern over the shape. This means we have our tool selected. So from here, we're gonna go to the style panel and we're gonna go down to effect. So right now it says plain because this shape has no effects applied to it. So we're gonna select this and in this drop down, we're gonna select gradient. And now we have our gradient pop up. So these points right here are the colors in our gradient. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on them and I'm going to change them so we can better see our gradient. This one will be blue and this last one will be green. There we go. So this right here is our type. So right now it's on linear. And if I click on here, we have this drop down. And this right here is an example of our gradient at the moment. So watch this while I flip through these. So radial is like a circle. It starts from the center and then it changes on its way out towards the edge. Uh, reflective is reflecting on the Y axis. So on the Y axis at the middle point, it's red and then it's blue and then it's green. And then angle, I have no idea on how to explain this, but this is what it looks like. Now allow transparency allows you to make your colors transparent. So I'm going to switch this back to uh, linear and I'm going to make our blue color transparent. So I'm just going to double click on it and I'm going to use this tool right here to make it transparent. So right now it's fully shaded in and alpha right here, that's um, how transparent your, uh, sh your color is. So right now it's 255, which is the maximum. And I'm just going to grab this and make this the midpoint and our alpha is now lower. Now this right here, this is our previous color and then above it is our new color. So now that we see these shapes in the background, we now know it's transparent and it even up updated itself right here. So I'm just going to select OK to confirm that. And from here, we need to select allow transparency. You see, once we have that enabled, our color went from fully shaded in to partially shaded in. So I'm just going to select OK to confirm that. And I'm going to deselect our shape really quick so we can see it. And to adjust the position of our gradient, all we need to do is we need to select this tool right here. So I'm going to select this bottom one and move it to the bottom. I'm going to select this top one and bring it to the top. So this is how you would control the length of your gradient. You can also put it at an angle. So I could put this one up here, this one down here. And that's how you would control the gradient. And I'm actually going to add in another shape just so we can see that gradient more. Oh. So see how the shape I just added has a gradient with it. I actually want to remove that shape or that gradient. So I'm going to again go, I'm again going to go to the select shape tool, select the shape. So I'm going to go to Effect, Gradient, and I'm going to select Plane. And now our shape doesn't have a gradient. So that's how you would take a gradient off of a shape. Now let's say we want to go back and edit the gradient. So I'm going to select the shape. Instead of going to this drop down and selecting gradient, nothing's going to happen if you do that. You want to select this button right here, these three little dots. This will open up the gradient pop up again. So that's how you would change the, the color of your gradient. And there you go. That's everything you need to know about gradients.